No, we didn't deserve to win, but if you're winning, you have to take this. And yeah, I would say normally we are very good in such circumstances. If we score just uh, before time, uh, we show resilience all, the, all through the game. But uh, in points of aggressiveness, um, Brentford was better. And we should show more passion and desire in, in many moments in the game. Uh, but as I say, when you're winning the game, and then you should bring it over the line. You, you can never compare <laughs> such levels and performances. Um, but also, when you don't play well, you still have to win. And we did it almost. And that is my big disappointment, that you, uh, you have to bring it over the line. And as I say, uh, we didn't play well. Uh, but there was spirit, there was fight, uh, but not enough. Uh, but it was enough to get uh, a 1-0 a goal and then bring it over the line and also before that we had a big chance by Rasmus Hoyland. Chris. Uh, in terms of Champions League now, we feel that 11 points ahead, haven't played a game more, Tottenham uh, 8 points, same number of games. Are you still hopeful you can get Champions League and you play for 5th place now or 4th place still? Uh, still, uh, there's still many games to go, uh, but yeah, of course the, the points will be more expensive by the end. And this should have been three, uh, but uh, now it's only one. That can be by the end. Uh, we will know how it will work out, but it can be a big point by the end. Eric, Alejandro Garnacho, when he came off, it looked like he went down in the tunnel. Is, is he okay? Is he carrying an injury? He, he's okay. Uh, of course, he has uh, have had a heavy trip, uh, but he's okay. Mark. Eric, it's another game where the team's conceded a lot of shots. I think 31 for Brentford today. Is that not something that's usually concerning concern for them, given we've seen it quite a lot recently? As long as we get results, no. <laughs> I explained it once more. Um, we, um, we defended uh, low by times, and as I say, because Brentford very direct, and we lost many many second balls and then you have to defend the box and that is what we did quite well and we had a great goalkeeper and he was brilliant tonight as well also we have to to say that and um, yeah, i think our uh, results are quite consistent and uh, from january on but yeah and we, but we concede goals of uh, sorry we concede shots but we don't concede so many goals and are we creating chances uh, with rasmus holland big chances we scoring a goal and it's all about bringing that over the line. Uh, last question. Eric, I know what you're saying, that it doesn't matter as long as the results come, but can United aspire to win Premier League titles, to win Champions League titles, if they can't control games against you know, opponents like Brentford who are fighting against relegation? How can, they, how can you hope to control games against uh, better teams? Uh, uh, don't, don't lower the performances from... from from Brentford, but of course I have also I have seen them against Man City, and City was also lucky to win that game. And I have seen them first uh, also against Liverpool, and in the first 35 minutes, uh, Brentford should have taken the lead. So uh, don't do don't don't go and to express this, uh, but yeah, uh, we should have done uh, do, we should have done this better. Uh, I'm not happy with the performance. There's no misunderstanding. And the players are also disappointed by the performance, and uh, we should um, we should be consistent uh, in 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 the way we take a game and we go so we go in the game and uh, and perform and show more aggressiveness, especially. Okay. I can't tell by now, um, but uh, Rafa, we took him off by precaution in the half time. And Victor, he came off, but we have to assess him tomorrow. Yeah? On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.